I'm concerned that the process of increasing the allowances is actually executive driven, yeah, which means the Menteri Besar or the state uh, will decide at the exco level, you know, in this, at the governmental executive level, and then inform and then inform or make a resolution in the day one, uh, whether it's day one undangan negeri or eventually in parliament, you know, in the day one, and get the day one to approve it. Yeah? What I'm concerned about the process is that it is it means that our the the state assemblyman's uh, allowances were decided by the executive and not decided by the house. Why I say that it should be decided by the House is that every House will have the Rights and Privileges Committee and it is only right for the Rights and Privileges Committee of each Assembly, whether the State Assembly or Parliament, to actually sit down and then make the proposal, study the matter and make the proposal because it involves the rights and privileges of the members of the House, but particularly in Selangor. You know, one of the main complaints uh, of the opposition in Parliament is that uh, decisions are made by the executive and the House debates it and then there is, uh, there is no opportunity to, uh, to change it or even modify it. But uh, if we are honest to ourselves and we, ha we believe in the integrity of the, of the House, we believe in the integrity of the, uh, of the Parliament, we believe in the integrity of the Assembly, then uh, the decision or even the decision and the process of deciding on it uh, must involve the Rights and Privileges Committee. And I hope that uh, in Parliament, that this matter is referred to the proper committee, the Rights and Privileges Committee, and for the committee, which is represented by members from both sides, to then decide on the matter of increasing the allowances. Okay, we, uh, in Selangor, it's being done, never mind, you know. But uh, essentially, uh, we, cannot, we cannot just ignore the process which we ourselves have established for our own house or for our own assembly, or for our own parliament. That's number one. Number two, what people don't realise, and what perhaps members of parliament and state assemblymen don't tell to the public, is that our allowances are tax-free. So if we get a $10,000 allowance, it means that it's $10,000 tax-free take-home pay. Right? Don't forget about how it's used. But that fact, the fact is that it is a tax-free allowance and that's by law and therefore when the public reads about uh, you know a member of the house member of the assembly or member of parliament getting for example six thousand six thousand ringgit or eight thousand ringgit they have to re realize that it's also a tax-free there's a tax it is totally tax-free 